The Horizon Simulations Dreamliner is now officially supported in MSFS 2024. You can't wait to do a flight and you choose a couple of liveries and copy them over to your community folder. Then you start the sim and wait a minute, not this mess again. Allow me to show you a quick fix for this mess so your aircraft list will look clean again. So like in the previous video for the fly-by-wire liveries, we need to open up the livery folder, go to sim objects, airplanes, the livery folder itself and now take a look at the aircraft config file. Open this file with any editor of your choice. Now you need to edit some stuff right here. But do not touch the areas above like version and variation. You only need to edit stuff in the area fltsim.0. You might know that there are two engine types for the 787-9, the GE and the Rolls-Royce. I'm going to show you both solutions. Well, they are basically the same except for four lines we need to be careful with. So basically there are some values that you can change and there are some values that need to follow specific rules. If you think this sounds too complicated, trust me, it is not. I'm going to put a link in the description for the aircraft config files for both engine types, just for you to have a reference on how these should look like. So the title can be set however you like it. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense to name a United livery to Lufthansa, right? Model, panel and sound need to be specific values and these values depend on your engine type. Model and sound are easy but for panel you have to have panel.ge at the end. Notice that the parent folder is always the same, it's always the Horizon Sim B787 Niner GE and X for the GE engine. Now the texture value should also follow a specific rule. Look at the same level of the aircraft config file. There is a folder called texture.something. You need to take the post fix of the texture folder. That means everything that is after the dot, this needs to be put into the texture value. So in this case, UAL underscore N 24988. For the UI underscore manufacturer, you type in Boeing, if it's not already that. UI type, I think this needs to be specific. It needs to be 787-9er GE Dreamliner. The UI variation can be set by you. This is the name that you see on the livery list. UI created by should of course still be the original creator. ATC ID, ATC airline, well you can set this to the registration number and the name of the airline. IKO airline is the three letter airline code and is user selectable needs to be set to one. Other than this, you can delete everything else. Now for the Rolls-Royce Trend engines, this is basically the same. Just note that these values are a little bit different. So instead of GE and X, you will have Trend right here. And for panel, you will have panel.rr instead of panel.ge. The UI type is also different. Instead of GE, you will have RR inside the brackets. Everything else can be set by you. And with these changes, you are basically done. If your sim is running, obviously you need to restart the sim. Do that and take a look at your aircraft list. You will have all your liveries for the Dreamliner categorized by the engine type. If you are having problems, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. I will do my best to help you out. And if this solution helped you out, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for stepping by and as always, see you in the skies.